What's up players? If you were born within the past 100 years, you've probably heard of Wi-Fi. Most people will have a Wi-Fi access point in their home, but is it really that much of a problem just to hand out your Wi-Fi password to whoever comes over? Well, let's find out. Okay, let's start out with the problems of handing out your Wi-Fi password. Everybody who is using your Wi-Fi will have access to your local network, which means if you have a bunch of smart devices, like lights, for example, they will be able to control them while they're using your Wi-Fi. Also, if you have a wireless sound system like Sonos or a smart TV from one of the big manufacturers, they could just simply download the app and start controlling those things. While that might sound just like a minor annoyance, it starts to get a little bit more serious if you have things like a NAS or a server on your network. Or if they're really trying to screw with you, they can just go in and change your router settings if your password is still admin admin. So the logical solution for that is just to give out your Wi-Fi password to people you trust. Unfortunately, there are services, Windows 10 in particular, that will share your Wi-Fi password with all of your Skype contacts. It's completely stupid. But there are a few things you can do to help secure your Wi-Fi and your network. The first is to change your Wi-Fi password now, especially if you're still using the default one that came with the router. Router settings vary a lot, but you'll be able to find it in either Wi-Fi or wireless settings. Just remember that you will have to update the password on all your devices as well. Next is to set up a guest network. Most consumer grade Wi-Fi routers will have a guest network option and it will have its own SSID and its own password and what it will do is isolate your local network from the guest network so they won't be able to access any of your local network stuff and it will still provide them access to the internet. Great! Keep in mind though that most of the time devices on the guest network can still talk to each other so if you put a smart light on the guest network then other guests will be able to control it using the guest network. Does that make sense? I hope so. And there's one more advanced step you can take to securing your Wi-Fi network, and that is to have a MAC address whitelist or MAC address filter. This is what I do, and it's not supported by all routers, but the majority of routers do have it. Now, every device that has a network capability has a MAC address, and this is a unique address that is assigned to that device. You can add a list in the router to only allow Wi-Fi connections from MAC addresses that you have specified in this list, the whitelist. So even if they do have the correct Wi-Fi password to get onto your network, the router is going to stop them from connecting to anything because they're not on the whitelist. I'm sorry, if your address is not down, you're not coming in. Now this is quite involved because it does mean grabbing the MAC address of all of your Wi-Fi devices. And when you get a new device, you will have to add the MAC address to your list before you can allow it on your Wi-Fi network. And sometimes it can even be quite tricky to find the MAC address on a device. Things like phones and computers and laptops, you can just look in the settings and the MAC address is right there. But on things like lights and at-home personal voice assistants, it's not that easy and you have to go into the app to find the MAC address, but you can't get the device onto the app unless it's on your network first. Yeah. So what I do sometimes is get a device on the guest network first because the guest network is not governed by the whitelist. There I can read the MAC address from my router, take it off the guest network, add the MAC address to the whitelist and put it on the main network. Of course, that is a lot of faffing about. And to be honest, a guest Wi-Fi network will suit most people depending on how much you care about security. And as with everything, you trade convenience for security. It's very convenient to leave your front door unlocked all day so you don't have to fumble with keys when you get home, but that's not very secure. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Question of the day, how secure is your Wi-Fi network and what levels do you go to? Do you have a guest network? Do you not care? Or have you gone full out with the MAC address whitelist like I have? <laughs> Until next time, keep playing.